Well, I think that we're moving along very well. It's, uh, it's been a uh, enjoyable year. Got a lot of young kids. Um, you know, I think in August we were all questioning in our mind just what we could do. And uh, attitude, work ethic, doing the things that they're asked to do. Only got 11 seniors, but they've really provided some strong leadership, and, and there has been gradual improvement. Um, got beat by a better team, um, beat some teams that uh, might have been a little more talented, but I think we we're a better team. That be the case this week. We're going up against a team that's very talented, loaded with Division One transfers. But football is the ultimate team sport, and uh, that's what we've got to do. We've got to play great team football. Uh, to overcome the challenge. These guys were national runner-up a year ago and uh, got a receiver that started in the Rose Bowl a year ago. They got a running back that started at University of Missouri, so they got some folks. When you take a look at what they've been able to do offensively with those players, um, right around 54 points a game, what concerns you most about them and what do you have to do to make sure they don't put 54 points on the board? Well, again, you got to play disciplined defense. You know, you got to gang tackle, you got to fly to the ball. They're not an option team. Uh, so therefore, you know, you don't have to be playing assignment football. Kids, uh, you teach them to, to, you know, get to the football as quickly as possible and gang tackle. That'll be the case. Uh, secondary, young secondary, you got to keep the ball in front. They can play it underneath, you know, come up, tackle them. You know, you know try to eliminate the big play in the air. they got to tackle because they got a great running back on the ground. Um, and uh, be able to withstand an offensive line that averages over 300 pounds. On the other side, again, uh, over 300 pounds on their, their down three and got some Division One transfers at a corner and linebacker and um, going to be a real interesting uh, opportunity for us. And, you know, it is an opportunity at this point in time. I don't think many folks thought, you know, we'd be sitting here at 9-1 and one and uh, back in the postseason play, but we are. What, what really characterizes your team? Because, you know, as as we came into this season, a limited number of starters coming back. Um, you know, obviously Daniel Carter is one of the best players in the history of this program, so he had to be uh, replaced. How have you? How have these guys stepped up and filled those roles and done it in such a such an effective fashion? You know, we haven't had the superstar. There hasn't been the Daniel Carters. There hasn't been the Gloria Jackways, the Brian Kurtz on defense. Um, you know, we're kind of the no-names. Again, because we're so young, you know, you got nine new starters on defense. You got another half a dozen on offense. Got guys in the kicking game doing things for the first time. So you know, it, it's a, like a rookie football team. And um, you know, doing the things that, that we ask them to do with uh, a positive attitude and great effort has been the reason I think we have been able to improve week to week. Final question, what in your mind is the biggest key against Lindenwood? Wood, obviously having to go on the road and play a team, you know, that was a runner-up last year? You stand and throw punches with them all the way. You know, you can't be intimidated. They're a veteran ball club. You get a lot of junior college transfers as well as Division One transfers. We're young. You know, we're not, we don't average 20 years of age with our starting 22. Uh, but you can go to war. You know, you can go to battle, you can get shot at, so you can certainly go play a football game. If you stay together and maintain discipline, uh, we can make things happen. Anything else you'd like to add, Coach? You got it.